will return uh, to Donald Trump and the presidency shortly. But let's update you on what is happening in the Middle East right now. Syrian warplanes have hit rebel-held eastern Aleppo. It's the first such attack for three weeks. Rebel fighters and civilians in the city say they had been anticipating a resumption of the Syrian government offensive, backed, of course, by Russian air power for days now. But Russia says it has also launched airstrikes for the first time from its aircraft carrier deployed off the Syrian coast. Let's take you to our correspondent, Thomas Morgan, who is following developments for us from neighboring Lebanon and joins us from Beirut. Uh, good to see you. What are you hearing from Aleppo? Well, we first heard these reports from the Syrian civil defense this morning, also called the White Helmets, that said that eastern Aleppo had been hit by the heaviest bombardment for a few weeks now. Now, they haven't had any airstrikes there for almost a month after Syria and Russia withheld those airstrikes. But today, they've had some violent strikes hitting the city. Barrel bombs and parachute bombs hitting areas of the eastern besieged area where 270,000 are stuck in that rebel-held area without all running out of food, according to the UN. Now, this news comes on the same day as a third hospital has been hit in the past 24 hours on the outskirts of this city. Um, from airstrikes there, a third hospital in 24 hours. And the UN have told us, as I just mentioned, that food stocks have now run out their food stocks in eastern Aleppo and they won't be able to provide aid to the eastern part of the city until there is a ceasefire of some kind. And now we're hearing of these latest airstrikes, it's very unlikely that they'll be able to do so. Now, the Syrian government have said that they have attacked Aleppo, as you mentioned there, but the Russian government have said that they are also carrying out airstrikes from their naval fleet on the Syrian coast. They are attacking terrorists, so-called Islamic State, in the areas of Homs and Idlib. But as I say, the situation in Aleppo itself uh, getting graver by the day now. You're really worrying that they've got such severe food shortages in Aleppo and that news as well that a hospital has been hit. Uh, have any people been able to leave? Well, from what we understand, a week or so ago, Russia did call on a humanitarian pause. That was their initiative that the rebels didn't abide by because they don't abide by any initiative brought forward by their enemy because they believe it's only done so when they're on the front foot or when their enemy is on the back foot. Now, when that humanitarian pause took place a week or so ago, nobody left the city and aid wasn't be, uh, being able to be provided there. Now, uh, for, as far as we understand, no rebels or civilians are leaving the city and it's very difficult to see anyone leaving with such violent airstrikes happening currently at the moment there. Thomas, thanks for updating us from Beirut on the situation in Aleppo.